assembled. I'd like to ask you guys to come in a little bit closer if you can. Welcome to the party inside Starbucks headquarters. We're excited to just get together and show them some love. You know, I love you, right? A celebration of someone who has influenced almost every person here. And one of the most important partners who has been part of Starbucks history is Kenny. Ken is my most favorite person at Starbucks. You can say that Howard is the king of coffee, but Ken is the king of coffee. Just an amazing human being. Okay, enough waiting. Time to meet the man of the hour. Are you yeah. coming in tomorrow at all? Or are you done today? No, this is my last day. This is the last day. So he is retiring, if you can believe that. I miss you. Tough yeah. to believe because Kenny Cranning has a history with Starbucks as rich as its coffee. You have been one of my best friends since I've started at Starbucks. And uh -huh. you mean the world to me. Kenny started at Starbucks almost 29 years ago at the company's roasting plant in Kent. Then he moved to headquarters, stocking kitchens where people gather. Uh -huh. The perfect place for Kenny hey, buddy. Hi, to connect. Good. Kenny has a, has a job here that is really, makes him really visible to everybody, but he also loves to interact with everybody. All right. Tim. Interaction that enlightened others here. It's been a pleasure working with you, guy. To the remarkable abilities of those with disabilities. May I hug you? Sure. Yes, Kenny has blazed so many trails. I'm going to miss you. His humor. That's my favorite. His smile. Kenny's opened our eyes to just being kind always um, to everybody, and he, he exudes that. And I love him. Oh, yeah. So they gave him a send off worthy of a superstar. Can I have a picture with you? Sure. Oh, yeah. As part of this toast. From all of us at Starbucks. So this is for you. He's very special. He autographed photos. Yeah, Thank you, Ken. And handed out roses to the ladies. Beautiful. Thank you, Ken. That was Kenny's idea. Oh, thank you. I feel special. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so proud. That's Kenny's mother, who says Starbucks has been his family. Giving him self-esteem. Thank you for everything. I miss you. Giving him encouragement. I really had a good time seeing you around here, and I hope you have a great retirement. Giving him humor. Smell pretty. Giving him love. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. Everywhere he goes in the building, you just see it. I'm gonna miss you, Kenny. Have you seen all the pictures that are that they're playing of you up on the screens? A highlight reel showcasing Kenny's career and one of his closest relationships with Starbucks founder, Howard Schultz. Kenny's story is featured in Howard's most recent book. Schultz writing in that book, Kenny is a perpetually uplifting spirit. And when I was in a bad mood, I'd walk the halls looking for him. So it seemed only fitting. Hi. The two got some FaceTime Good. before Kenny's final goodbye. Kenny, we love you, okay? I love you too. All right, let's go. We all want to leave work for the last time believing we made a difference. Kenny's one of a kind. We love Kenny. Kenny Cranning changed attitudes. Teaching so many the value of acceptance. Bye, Bye. Isn't he sweet? So for changing perceptions and the culture at Starbucks and for handing out so many roses, we honor Kenny Cranning as a change maker in our community. We know there are change makers in your city and town and we want to highlight them as well. To nominate a change maker, just go to q13fox.com slash changemakers.